Hey, good morning, good timers. We are on to day two. What are you asking me? I said there's some, uh, those turkeys are geese. Where? Right there in the field. Uh, I don't know. They're birds. Anyway, good morning, good timers. Uh, we are here on the uh, porch here of the hotel. It's about 40 degrees this morning. Woke up and there was frost on all the cars, but it seems to have gone away. So it is slowly warming up. Apparently we have some geese in the field behind me, as Simone was just noticing. So yep. lots of wildlife in this area. I'm sure there's probably deer, moose, and stuff that appear also on the back lawn, but none this morning. So anyway, we are uh, off to have some breakfast. We don't fall down the stairs here while I'm talking to you. But uh, off to a place called Kelly's Landing, which has been uh, suggested by pretty much everybody I've asked where to eat in this area. My brother, my uncle, my cousins, my father, they all love Kelly's Landing. So none of them have actually been for breakfast though. So we're gonna go for breakfast and try something a little different. See how we like it. And we will uh, let you guys know here as soon as we get there. We are here at uh, Kelly's Landing, literally right on the water of Moosehead Lake. It's actually across from Greenville. It's on the other side of Greenville. I think we're actually in a town called Rockwood right now, but either way, definitely a nice view. We probably won't be sitting outside today. It's a little chilly, but nice view if you are sitting outside here, especially in the fall with the foliage. So we are inside Kelly's Landing. The outdoor dining is actually closed today, so even if we wanted to be out there, we wouldn't be. But the uh, inside is nice and warm, and it's actually a very uh, cool-looking Maine-ish kind of little diner here. So we're going to be ordering some breakfast here soon and giving it a try. All right, guys, and our meal has arrived. We have decided on sausage gravy breakfast poutine which is uh, obviously cheese curds with a sausage gravy over uh, some hash brown oval flat things here. Looks very good. And then of course I always have to get the homemade corned beef hash when I see that on the menu. So we got some corned beef hash here. And we got homemade French toast sticks. Not those box kinds, but looks like some real good Texas toast here. All right, we're gonna dig in and see how all this stuff is. Okay, guys, the report from Kelly's Landing, it was very good. Um, really enjoyed the sausage gravy poutine, that was excellent. And the French toast sticks are really good as well. Corned beef hash was uh, not the greatest I've ever had, but it wasn't too bad. It needed to be a little crispier. So I really like my corned beef hash well done. So it wasn't quite well done enough for me, but other than that though, it was a uh, great place. And I would definitely suggest Kelly's Landing over here in uh, Greenville. So now that we had our uh, delicious breakfast over at Kelly's Landing, got ourselves full stomachs, we are off to Hulf to Hulf, we are off to hike Gulf Hagus here in Maine. So called the Grand Canyon of Maine. I've never seen it. Simone apparently was there a long, long time ago. Um, but yeah, ought to be uh, interesting and uh, fun to look at. Usually some waterfalls in that area as well, but uh, we've been having a drought here all summer long. So I don't know how impressive the waterfalls will be, but yeah, we'll go check it out here. It's about an hour drive and uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, we're on the road to Gulf Hagus, as you can see term road is subjective it's not bad. but as far as dirt roads go this one isn't too bad so far we haven't seen any moose still I assume though if we're gonna this is probably gonna be the road we're gonna see him on so we'll uh, obviously record that if we uh, do see him but for right now we're just trying to find Gulf Hagus okay guys so Simone is at the uh, gatehouse here at the uh, entrance to Gulf Hagus hiking area it is actually a $16 fee. It is private land, and so the landowners charge you $16 to get in. So, but yeah, that's what she's doing right now. She's trying to get some directions here, and then we'll be back on our way. All right, guys, we've arrived at uh, one of the parking spots. There's actually two parking spots here in Gulf Hagus. You'll eventually come to a fork in the road. If you take a right, then it's another four or five miles to one parking spot. And you take a left, it's only about a half a mile to this spot here that we're at, so. Apparently we're gonna do, or try to do a loop today. It's about an eight mile loop. We'll see how far we get and see if we're successful with that. But yeah, this is uh, the beginning. The trail's across the road from us. So we will uh, take you over there in just a sec. Don't forget to flush. It's hard to pee when you can't reach the floor. Okay, well don't forget to flush. Just out of curiosity, why can't you reach the floor? So why can't you reach the floor? Because I'm too short. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Floor. Well, I'm Hold gonna. On, I'm hand, gonna stand up. I gotta hand oh my god. Things over here too. 
All right, guys, not that I'm superstitious or anything, but we just started the hike and used the bathroom and I locked myself into the restroom. So thankfully someone was standing on the outside and we were, was able to open the door for me. But yeah, careful on the uh, toilets around here. The outhouses, you can lock yourselves into them apparently. All right, well, let's hopefully the rest of this trail goes better. Okay guys, so part of the uh, Gulf Vegas Trail is lots of waterfalls and we have come to our first one. You can see it there in the distance. And a little bit right underneath us. Yes, this is called the Head of Gulf Vegas. So I guess this is where it all begins. And maybe it only gets better from here, I don't know. It's the All right, guys, so what do you think? Is it the Grand Canyon? Just like it. Yeah. Of the east. I don't think it's the Grand Canyon, but the Grand Canyon of Maine. It is very pretty though, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, so we were gonna do the whole eight miles, but we've been hiking now for what, three hours or so? Sure. I think it's about three hours. And you know what? I don't feel like doing eight miles today. So we're probably gonna do about six instead. We've uh, found a little bit of a shortcut that's gonna bring us back to the parking lot. So we got about another uh, mile and a half to walk before we get back to the car. All right. Yeah. Someone's gonna confirm. Oh yeah, I mean like, well, it's the, so we have a little bit beyond yeah, that. Like no, maybe yeah. like, well, that was easy, that part's easy. It's like two and a half. Sure, half, yeah. Something like that. Yep, whatever it is, it's probably too long, but we're in the middle of the woods now, so we don't have a choice. Cole's Corner, that must have been the Let's go find the car. Here for... Okay guys, and we have found our way back. Yeah. At 4.23 in the afternoon, we started at about 11.30 in the morning, so. And once again, didn't actually do all eight miles, but we were close. We were close. Yep. We, we, we had to throw in the towel. Yeah, we were getting, hungry. Get, getting hungry, getting thirsty, Andy was getting, hangry. getting hangry, tired, mold, you know, all that shit. So back to the car, a little bit of a drive down some dirt roads ahead of us. Maybe we'll see a moose. Maybe we won't. At this point, I'm starting to lose hope on that one too, but and then I'll have to get cleaned up and find some dinner and drinks. All right, guys, we have made our way over for some food after our long day of hiking at the Stress-Free Moose right here also in downtown Greenville. Andy, we have to 
to leave. Yeah, say I'm not sure I'm gonna be allowed in here, guys. I don't think you will be. They've warned me, so I'll try to be on my best behavior. <laughs> Alright guys, a quick glance around the dining room here at the uh, stress-free moose. Obviously the tables are uh, separated here quite a bit, so it obviously probably seats a lot more than this usually out here. Lots of uh, big TVs and things on the walls to watch sports on, even though right now I think the Family Feud is playing. Cool little cabin decor in here. Full bar. So yeah, looks like it's a fun place when it's uh, hopping. Yeah, okay guys, for our appetizer, we started off with some pulled pork nachos. Looks great. Definitely plenty of pork on there, so. Very good. Very good, very Sam Samoan's got an Asiago bisque soup to go with her meal. So, Asiago bisque soup, some pulled chicken, no, sorry, pulled pork nachos, and a nice good looking meatloaf sandwich with a side of gravy to dip the chips and the sandwich in. All right, guys, so this is how you do it stick that sandwich right in there, get a nice hunk of gravy, and Mm. Excellent. You gotta get it on your face to really, really get the full effect. Then you totally nailed it, Andy. Totally, totally good. Okay, guys. So we are back in the uh, hotel room now, and that was a uh, very good dinner as well. So, so far we've had uh, nothing but good meals here actually in Greenville all weekend long. So we ate at uh, the Trailside restaurant right here at the hotel last night. That was uh, very good. And we ate at uh, Kelly's Landing this morning for breakfast right on the water, and that was excellent as well. And then tonight was the Stress-Free Moose, and that was also uh, very good. So, um, Simone and I both agree, though, that the Trailside restaurant right here at the hotel is actually the best place we've had this weekend, uh, both money-wise and uh, tasty food. So, yeah, I would certainly recommend any of the three places we've eaten so far. Other than that, we just spent our entire day pretty much hiking, and... Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was uh, good views along the way of the uh, Grand Canyon of Maine, Gulf Hagus, and lots of cool... Uh, waterfalls. Waterfalls, thanks. I was going to say Ferris wheels, and that was definitely not correct. No. Lots of cool waterfalls as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I would recommend that hike also um, for some nice views. And, uh, yeah, had a good day again today. Had a good day yesterday, and we got uh, tomorrow left. Tomorrow we're planning on doing a lot smaller hike, but it's going to be to a uh, B-52 wreckage site here in the middle of the main woods. So that should be pretty interesting. And of course, we'll probably find someplace good to eat for lunch as well. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, good morning, good timers. Andy and Simone. Just uh, checked out of the hotel and we are heading off to our hike for the day today here. We're going to go to a B-52 memorial hike, and this is going to be a, little, a lot shorter than yesterday's hike, and check that out. And then after that, we are going to explore in town Greenville a little bit and then be on our way home. So we will uh, head out here right now. Okay, guys, while well, we were searching for this B-52 site, and apparently it's really deep into the woods here, and the roads have gone from bad to worse, and the, actually the signage to get to the site has also gone from bad to worse. So we're not really sure where this site is, and we just were uh, driving up the dirt road here and looked like we were going to fall into some big potholes, so we decided to kind of turn around. So no B-52 bombers for you guys today. Sorry about that, but hey, as soon as we get off these dirt roads again, as long as we survive, we'll uh, give you a tour inside of uh, the town of Greenville instead. So rather be safe than sorry today. So just so nobody thinks I'm exaggerating here, all right, this is what we're up against. This is in the middle of the road, and somebody's done a makeshift caution sign with a big stick and some uh, police tape. And now you can see what kind of car we're driving. Little old Nissan Versa. Not exactly a uh, four-wheel drive off-roading kind of vehicle. Certainly not something like a Jeep like uh, Walter from the Frontiers Adventureman uh, drives. He might be all right doing this kind of stuff. But And then from there, the road turns into a, uh, well... Basically this. Here, I'll go stand in the hole. <laughs> so, so now you can really see the problems happening. Yeah. Yeah, so we decided this really wasn't that special. You can probably see a crash site some other time in a museum somewhere inside. 
So yeah, back in the car and uh, driving back to the main main road. Going to get a coffee. Going to get a coffee. There you go. They must have a nice cafe in downtown Greenville. So here we go, trying to make it back over this uh, spot where it's falling in on both sides with the with the Nissan here. Yeah. I did it the first time with no issues. So let's see how good I am the second sunk, time. Sunk in with the culvert there. Yeah. All right. So we got the left hand side's really the bad one. Okay, I just hit the right hand side, so that That's was a bad start. That's not too bad. That's a little, yeah, he's a little more over here. Okay, I can't really see on the right hand side, but. Uh, you're, you're good. Don't go any further. Don't. No, we're good. We're good. 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 All right. Made it. Andy. Andy. What? Andy. What? Listen. Your location is not on a known road. Yeah. It's all right. We're winging it. What's the worst going to happen? Your location is not on the known yeah, road. Well, we're still going anyway. Hey, and here we are guys at Prong Pond. And apparently this is where canoes come to die. I don't think you could just use them. Because there's a lot of canoes. Simone says you can just use one. She doesn't seem to notice that there's no paddles to go along with the canoes. But anyway. Prong Pond. And you can obviously launch your boat from right here. And then go exploring. Speaking of exploring, I don't see any moose. Nope. No moose exploring this morning. I don't see any, any, any anything. I see a dock over there. Must be a camp buried in the woods there somewhere. It's pretty though. All right guys, well, still no moose anywhere. We uh, end up back in Kikagio actually looking for moose, but nothing. Another beautiful view over uh, First Roach Pond though. We figure while we're here, we'll uh, check out the uh, country store here in Kikadjo. Smells like they're cooking breakfast. Looks like an interesting place. Get some deer head. Ooh, and look, technically you got a moose. As your first moose sighting. You're welcome. Simone's masking up. I don't know if she's gonna need it or not. They got a Trump sign out here, so they may not need it. They may not believe in masks, who knows? You got some little souvenirs and the link necks. All right, guys, and we are here in the Cacaggio general store. There you go. Got some shiny, uh, shiny hats here. See if they have any bang energy drinks here. They got some monster. Yeah. Some monster. So there it was, guys, the Kakadjo General Store. I'm assuming they were open, but I couldn't actually find anybody in there. <laughs> Alright, guys, we are in downtown Greenville now. Figure we stop here for lunch before heading home, and I wanted to show you the uh, Katahdin boat here. Now this boat gives cruises. It is a steamboat. Gives cruises um, all summer long, all around Moosehead Lake. It's about a three-hour cruise. It also gives uh, tours out to Mount Kineo, which is uh, the largest mountain in this area, and you can actually hike that mountain. Thought about doing that this weekend. Obviously did not, but yeah. So pretty uh, cool riverboat cruise here, going out of Greenville. Okay guys, so I said we were gonna try to find some place that was open and uh, well, this appears to be one of the other places that's open here in town, so I guess we are trying the Dogside Inn and Tavern. We decided to eat outside because uh, honestly the inside smelled like a seafood factory. So apparently fish is one of their main entrees here and every single person inside the restaurant was eating it. So we are outside now and uh, they have a little fire for us. So that'll hopefully keep Simone a little bit warm. All right, guys, and uh, here is the uh, onion ring pulled pork nacho creation thing that we ordered. Looks amazing. Topped with a uh, barbecue sauce and coleslaw, and obviously pulled pork. So Simone's already tried it. She seems she seems to like it. She's munching down on it. 
I got myself a uh, mushroom Swiss burger, added bacon to it. And that looks excellent as well, so we're gonna dig in here and uh, let you guys know about it later while we eat. Good burger. Good roll. A little bit of smoky flavor from the grill. Pretty good. It's got a nice char. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm trying out this concoction here. The pork is actually smoked here. Like for real smoke. So excellent juicy smoky this is a really cool dish very creative and very good all right guys so i wanted to show you what the place actually looks like here that we just ate at so dockside dining and tavern uh, that was very good as well so we've had lots of good food here this weekend um lots of yeah surprise places and uh good places so i would definitely suggest this place as well and it's got a great view also behind us you can see uh, lots of Moosehead Lake in the uh, area marina so yeah awesome place awesome food okay so we're gonna check out some of the little shops here in Greenville nice little park right here beside the restaurant we just ate at see flowers are starting to go by now of course because we're getting later into uh, fall here Yes, we're getting into fall, right. Late summer, early fall, I should say. Feels like winter, but but yeah. Beautiful view once again here from this little park of Moosehead Lake. Now this first place we're gonna go to is the Indian Trading Store. And I used to come here when I was about 10 years old with my parents. Every time we uh, came to Greenville, we'd have to make a stop at the Indian store to get root beer barrels and cinnamon candy and all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to take you inside there, throw on our masks, of course, and uh, yeah, check it out. guys so we'll wrap up our three-day weekend here uh, started off the weekend hiking over at uh, Lily Bay State Park and then yesterday we hiked over at Gulf Hagus and saw all kinds of cool stuff there so today we uh, missed our hike over the B-52 place because uh, we kind of just didn't want to drive anymore because it was some pretty rough roads back there and we were uh, starting to get a little bit lost so but we found our way back thankfully and this afternoon we went shopping in uh, Greenville a little bit, had a good lunch over at the uh, Dockside Tavern, and that's about it. We're uh, getting ready to drive home now, so appreciate you guys uh, watching the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed seeing this part of Maine. It's been a long time since I've been to this part of Maine, so it was uh, new for me as well and new for Simone also. So, But uh, definitely a great weekend for hiking and, uh, and looking at the foliage and all that good stuff. So. Mm -hmm. We will be in Vegas very soon. The countdown is on. If you guys want to see an official countdown, just tune into PJ Slot's channel, and he's got one like every other day. So he can definitely tell you how many days, but it's like, I don't know, 21, 22 days away. So October 14th is when we're in Vegas. So soon, guys, soon. Rocktober is upon us. So we will see you guys all in Vegas soon, and we thank you for joining us here for this vlog from Maine. See ya.